Hello guys. Today we are going to build a translator web app wherein you input texts in any language and it will convert to your desired language. This app is created using a no-code framework that runs on Google Sheets. So, just keep watching to see how the translator app was created in under 10 minutes without writing a single line of code. Open a Google Sheet and give it a name. Go to Extension, then G's 2 Web SAS, then Calculator and click New Calculator. It will ask you to sign in. Then go to Extension, then G's 2 Web SAS, then Calculator and click New Calculator. A pop up will arrive to write the name of the calculator, and then it will ask about the number of input fields your calculator will have. For this language translator, I need four input fields, so fill up four in the input field. We don't require any graph in this app, so click No in the next pop-up. Give a meaningful name on the label for the inputs. For the image in the header, first, delete all the default writings in the first two rows. Then put the HTML for the image with the URL of the image in the top row and leave the second row as it is. We will use the Google formula for translating the text. For this app, we need to put an option to select the language that the user wants to convert to. For this, first, we create a list of languages along with the code for the language. We will import it by using another magical formula, import HTML. Import HTML formula just takes the URL of the web page where the table containing our data is published. This will take up the URL, query as a table, and the div number.
Once imported, copy the data into another place and delete the originally imported data. Now sort the data alphabetically. Put the range of the first column of this table in the data column for input type, select. We use VLOOKUP to get the language code of each language, then reference it to Google Translate formula. Let's add some text in the result field. In the result area, we put the formula for translation with reference to G3 which is the input of text, and cell K4 which is for the selection of language code in which the user wants to convert. Let's now publish the translator and have a look at it.
If you find this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to our channel and share the video with anyone who may find it helpful. Thanks for watching.